Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is standard text. Firstly, I will not say this is completely a new topic. We already have the idea of the standard text when we cover the topic smart forms, script and Adobe forms. If you remember at that point of time, we covered the standard text or include text through SO10 transaction code and we have used in the smart form, Adobe forms and SAP script. Now it's a turn to go into too much detail of this particular topic because lots of queries are coming on this particular topic and extremely important concept from the project perspective. Once we will proceed, you will see how the real time use of this into the standard transaction course. Now, first, we always create the standard text or include text through SO10 transaction code. If I will go to SO10 transaction code with the help of this, we create the standard text or include text. Why, why we are creating standard text or include text? You know, it is a reusable text which we can reuse in smart form also, script also, and we can use in a BAP code also. Standard text or include text is never, never restricted to smart form, Adobe forms or script. It can be reused in the ABAP code also. And the major, major motto of this particular topic is we will see the use in the ABAP code and in the standard transaction codes. Now, whenever we will go for standard text, whenever we will create a standard text, Four things are extremely important because whenever we will go for standard text, four things will be there. What is first one? Text name, language, text ID and text object. If you remember when we used in the smart form, Adobe form or script, at that time we passed the four things, text name, text object, text ID and the language and at that time I told you also how you can check these particular four things. Anyways, I will explain into too much detail how you can check these four things after creation a include text or standard text. You can simply simply go for go to and header. So a standard text is always always identified by text name text language, text ID, and the text object. Now, the first important point from the interview perspective also, whenever you will create a standard text or include text, it stores into which particular tables of SAP? It stores into two tables of SAP. One is your header table, and one is your item table. We all know the concept of header and item table. So name is itself very easy to remember. STXH standard. TX stands for text. H stands for header. Standard text header table. STXL standard text item table. Rather than I, we have the word L because based upon SAP, L stands for long text. It means we are storing the long text. So whenever we will go for standard text or include text, it stores into two tables of SAP, STXH and STXL. One will be your header table and another will be your item table. Now, two function modules will play a vital role in all our practical. These function module will play a vital role and SAP is widely, widely using this particular function modules. Whenever we will save 
whenever we will save the standard text or include text to save the standard text or include text the function module which we will use is save underscore text and to read the standard text or include text we will simply simply go for the function module read underscore text when i cover the topic smart form at that time i showed you a demo on read underscore text also now just understand you will get more more clarity whenever we will use this particular function module save underscore text word itself is saying whenever we will use this function module this function module will save that text into header and item table whenever we will use this function module this function module will read the data from this particular tables and sap is also doing the same to same thing just think whenever you are creating a standard text or include text through so10 transaction code it means sap will use this function module to store that text into header and item table whenever sap will show us whenever sap is showing the text to us whenever we will click on to display button we are getting that text this text whatever we are getting at that time sap use the function module read underscore text to show that text to us so ultimately this first function module is storing that data into these two tables and second function module is reading that data from these two particular tables now what we will do first firstly i will go for a very very simple example then we will move on to standard transaction codes just see i will go to so10 transaction code I will go to SO10 transaction code and parallelly I will show you the two standard tables STXH and STXL. I will go to SC11 transaction code. You will get full clarity STXH and you can see that description itself standard text. This is header table. And just see, we have four columns, four primary keys, text object, text name, text ID, and the text language. That's why I put so much stress. These four things are playing a vital role because your standard text is identified because of these four things only. Now, if I will go, you, I will show you STXL table, STXX. STXL, you can see it is standard text line table, long text table. Now, if I will go for this, the same to same four columns are here also. If I will go to the contents of this item table and I will go to the contents of this header table. Now, I will go for creation of the included text. So I will go to SO10 transaction code. This is our SO10. I will give some name to the standard text or include text. Suppose I am saying Z, suppose text. This is text name, text ID, language. Now just see in this tables. In this table currently there is no such data, text name. If I will go to header table, number of entries zero. It means there is no text name. There is no text with this particular name. If I will go to item table, if I will go to item table, sorry, I will go to item table. This is item table. If I will put same to same text name here, zero number of entries. Whenever I will create, then the text will go to this particular table with these four things. Now I'm create. I will go for create. 
I will go for closing this. I will use the text editor and I will write. Suppose I am writing order details and I am saving. When I saved it, guys, this particular data stored to two tables, STXH and STXL. Now you can check here. Go to header. What is first thing? Text name. Put into this particular table. This is your text name. Okay. Now, language. English. Now, we will go for text ID. Text ID, ST. Standard text. Now, we will go for text object. This is your text object. Now, if I will execute you will be able to see a entry here. Complete header information, not item information. These are the four things. This is my ID. This is the today's date. This is the time. Now this whole information is storing. How many number of line? As of now, we only put one line. Yes. So all this header information is in header table. Now if I will show you item table, this is our text object. This is our text name. This is our text ID. And this is our language. Now, if I will show you number of entries, you can see we have one entry in the item table also. And you can see we have the item. We have the data. Now, many times people will ask, yes, I gave the data order details, but SAP is storing into different format. Yes, SAP will not store into direct format. SAP has a unique, SAP has its own technique to store the data. If you store, see this particular column type also, you can see we have a column type. Yes, long row field for table ST Excel. So SAP has a unique data type or SAP is doing some encryption or storing. That is, we should not worry about the same because anyways, we will use this particular function modules to retrieve that text. So what is the summary of this particular video? Extremely important topic and so many people ask about this particular topic. Firstly, it is not a new topic at all, but now we will go into too much detail of this particular topic. We can create a standard text or include text through SO10 transaction code. And yes, it is a reusable text, which is not restricted to smart form, Adobe form or script. You can go anywhere in a app code also. We can use this particular standard text or include text. And our major focus is on a app code now because you all know how to use in SAP script, Adobe forms and this smart form. Now, whenever we will create a standard text or include text, it always has four important things because it stores into table with these four unique, unique columns. What is first one? Text name, text language, text ID, and text object. Whenever we will create a standard text, it stores into two tables. One is header, one is item. STXH and STXL. Standard text header. Standard text, you can say long text or you can say lines. Now, we have two function modules. The first function module, save underscore text, stores the data into these two tables. Read underscore text will display the data from these two tables. So we are never, never directly writing the queries onto these two tables. We always, always use the function modules. In the next video, we will go into more, more concept and then we will go for the practical part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.